the students are still joining um, so they keep joining i think in another 15 minutes we all will join fine i'll start the session okay uh, so today's session is on importance of communication and negotiation and it is curated with an objective to give an insight to our students of undergraduation who are studying principles of organizational behavior well, I would like to welcome our guest, Mr. Ramesh Dingra, Director, Coco Wave Work Cafe Private Limited. He is an experienced founder with a demonstrated history of working in the marketing and human resources industry. Currently, he is into management consultant, consulting, writing, training, leadership development, change management, public speaking, team building, life coaching, career development coaching, and executive coaching. Well, Amish has been a relentless entrepreneur who leaves no stone unturned to make any venture a success. He is today working as a director for one of the most prestigious in corporations, Coco Wave Work Cafe Private Limited, uh, which he started uh, as a young solopreneur and today has more than 100 plus clients associated with a short span of just two years. His organization, Coco Wave Work Coworking, uh, though startup uh, started as a startup, but today is one of the top working place for not only all the young dynamic uh, entrepreneurs like him, but also one of the most preferred working destinations for many corporates. And his clients include, uh, you know, many corporates like uh, Magna International, ONGC, uh, Continental Tires, uh, Taipa, RBI, UPL, and many more. Today, he is a super successful and uh, inspirational blogger, blogger, content writer, entrepreneur, director, motivational speaker, and an amazing life coach. I would like to hand over to Amish for sharing how important communication and negotiation is for our daily life. And, um, uh, you know, as one should be very sensibly know how to convert his or her thoughts into a speech by carefully selecting the relevant words. Uh, over to you, Amish. Amish, sir, please unmute yourself. Amish, sir. Amish, can you hear me? I think um, some connectivity issue or something. Yeah, he's logged out. He's logged out. He was here only. And not just just now. He's uh, not here. Okay, he's calling. Me. Arvind ji, he has been muted by the host and he no, no, is... No, he is... He is logged out now. He is, he is in panel, ma'am. Okay, okay. Amish, I hope... Uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much, Jashree, ma'am. It's an honor being here today and doing something for my Amla Mater. And... Yes, HR is something that I've always loved. So first up, apologies for all the disconnections for the internet and everything. But now we are here and we are ready to go. So hey, everyone. Uh, this is something which is very common, very relevant. But it's so common that people do not realize the importance of this topic. What we are going to talk about today. We're basically talking about communication and its role. Its role in organizational behavior, its role in your everyday lives. And when I talk about your organizational behavior or anywhere else, uh, what does communication actually mean? Communication just, just does not mean that, okay, I am speaking something that is not a communication. Communication would rather mean that First, you have to listen well, you have to read, you have to write, and then summarize it and then speak. So its most important feature is that you need to 
understand, comprehend, summarize, and then speak. This is one of the most important things that comes out to light for communication and its importance and relevation for anyone, anyone at a whole. And uh, guys, I see about 190 of you approximately have already joined in. Any questions that you guys might, guys might have, you're free to use the Q&A uh, or probably you can uh, pause me up. I will take up all of your questions. I do not have an, I will not probably keep it uh, the last 15 minutes or that way because this is something which has to be done collaboratively. And it is important that anything that you may not agree with or you might have a contradictory view, I would probably be in a better position to help you. So yes. So now just a food for thought. We might have not always observed it that way, but yep, human beings, animals, birds, all living beings, they need a method to communicate. We don't actually understand this. We, even if we know about it, we do not think, we do not brainstorm ourselves so much into it that uh, we're like, okay, fine. How do they actually communicate? Even trees communicate. That might not be logical to many out of you there because you might not be thinking it in that much of a depth. But yes, trees also have their own communications. Animals communicate, the birds communicate, you very well know about all of this. So now quickly uh, coming up on, on our main topic, kind of a main topic that I would first give you an insight about what is the role of communication in business. Communication in business is probably between three to four, four to five, five to six, n number of people in the term that top management, middle order management, lower order management, even the outsiders, the external auditors, that means the external uh, customers, which include your auditors as well. So first up, starting with your employees, that is inside the organization. It's so very important that you communicate with all of the employees and they, they, there's a free flow communication that's flowing in the organization. Only if there is a free flow communication in the organization, you can actually find that the results and the output are phenomenally well as compared to the different, as compared to an organization which has just one uh, flow, one way of communication, more so as a autocratic leadership, but rather than an autocratic, if we have a, a laissez-faire leadership method here, that okay, fine, there is a free flow communication and it works as a team. Does not work in a different way or probably in a divided way, it works all as a team. So that way it's much better. Secondly, I'll move up to clients and suppliers. So I, every businessman, everyone has their clients, everyone has their, Suppliers, clients are the people whom I am catering to and suppliers are for whom I am a customer. So that way it's very important that, it's, that we have a free flow communication amongst all of these. Only then we can probably understand the needs well. Once we understand the needs well, we are able to give them a solution as per their exact requirement. So many of you students who are actually right now studying, you guys are in your undergraduation and things like these might not understand much to you because you might not be very deep thinkers or probably someone who can introspect a lot about things that happen but yes until you sort the stuff which goes inside you until you sort the problems that you have and how do you sort them keeping it in your own mind and then probably coming out would not make a solution you need to be vocal and you need to be vocal to everyone. Also, uh, guys, just a small suggestion, probably the ones who joined in, uh, some amount of participation would be highly appreciated. I find a huge number of participants who are not attentive and they've just opened for the university's sake. Please don't. University is doing a great job. They are trying the level best. At, this is just a very small session and the more you participate, the more you understand out of it. So moving up in the role of co business, communication and business, third up is my customers, the customers that I serve to. If I do not know that what my customers need, 
with having a co-working place i'm even a life coach and i am even a motivational speaker so if i as a life coach if i do not understand that what is a problem that you're facing probably as a as a child or as a student you say that my teacher my parents my guardian are not understanding that what am i going through probably you're being bullied probably you're being harassed probably anything but it's very important that you need to be spoken with and you need to be communicated well with only then probably the people who are there to help you they can help you with some solution they can understand your position well and then they can come up with a good alternative solution for you fourth is the pairs if you do not have your informal communications in place the people you talk to every day your acquaintances your friends your everyone that you sit with every day you don't talk with them uh getting close to them is practically impossible so this is another point and most important is competitors so in business competitors is something that is inevitable every business line every thing that you probably do in your life has a competitor attached with it that's all obviously there but with the competitors it's very important to communicate communicate obviously does not mean i call up my competitor and i'm like okay fine what are you guys up to no obviously not that way but the small understanding nuances of the competition that okay fine if there is a new method of marketing which is being adopted it's very important to be as alert and captive that okay fine i understand i get it and i click with that means it's very important to start with it and so what does a uh, communication actually include communication i did talk about these four things earlier in my presentation whatever this is that listening reading like writing and most importantly speaking but uh, there's another another prospect that if you probably think about it clarity simplicity consistency and meaning clarity is most important that if my method or if my tone if my main motive of making you understand a particular thing if i am not clear with that then it's not going to work around similarly it has to be said in a very simple way there has to not be much of a higher order english which has to be used because if your audience does not understand that it's all few time you give out a session but they don't understand all of that so it's actually not working third is consistency that okay fine you work in a phrased manner and you work with it then only you can communicate well if i probably hypothetically you go back to your parents and you're like i want to be a lawyer and your parents are like okay fine why do you want to be a lawyer then you need to present yourself in such a way that actually convinces them that you can be a good lawyer well you this way it's very important that you need to work in a structured manner in a flowing manner then only it is very very logical and impressive it will captive the mind of the person who's listening it much more than the person who's just being there for the sake of being there most important out of all of this it has to be a meaning all of you guys who are here today you guys are here with a meaning and the meaning is to probably get more insight to probably understand more about what does this actually mean in a span of time so uh, if probably i can get in some responses from the attendees that i am posing out a question is communication only speaking 260 of you i need you active here now students if you have some questions you can put it in the chat box or question answer session and whatever questions are being asked like amish is posing the question to you is communication only speaking so just give your feedback on it give your response on it 
There mm -hmm. are some responses I, coming, Amish. Yes, I see two of responses. One is from Adnan. How to come over with language barrier? Sure, I'll take this. Is, uh, yeah, Next. that's a question. Yeah, and Paritosh, no, it's not. Arjun, it can be speaking and writing both. Mudit, no. Anshul, Sanchayati, no, it's a broader term. Okay. So most okay. of the answers are no. Yes, uh, sure. Paritosh, I'll come up with your question just in a bit and Adnan as well. First, I'll just take this up that is communication only speaking? No, not really, not at all. Communication cannot be purely speaking. Now, I was speaking for all this short span of 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and you guys were listening. Post 12 minutes, I posed a question. I was expecting a response from you, then only my communication made sense. Then only it was said as a communication. Plus, as I mentioned, I'll again mention it, it's very important communication has to include listening, reading, writing, and speaking. You probably might not have understood that, okay, when you appear for exams like IELTS or anything like that, why do you have these four sections? Because they purely understand your communication. So you see, listening is a section, reading is a section, writing is a section, and then speaking is the main section. So now uh, I hope this solves to Arjun, Mudit, Anshul, and many of you who did not say, but you feel the same. So Adnan, how to overcome, over, overcome with language barriers? Overcoming with language barriers is always tricky, but at the end of the day, the main term, I mean, when you have to understand something, when you have to speak something, and the other person is willing enough to understand or absorb it in the same manner. There is a consensus found on it and you will eventually say what you want to and they will also understand it. Language barriers are a number of them. They are different types of people. They're introverts, extroverts, ambiverts, they're very, very different kind of people. They are hybrids as well. They are all of them. But at the end of the day, languages, everyone speaks one language and that language means to understand. I hope Adnan this solves it. Uh, Parito has it. Hello, could you kind of uh, speak? I'll read it for you, Amish. I'll do that. No, no, ma'am. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly okay. fine. Uh, hello, could you? Could you kindly also speak? How can we negotiate? So he wants to know about the negotiation part, like negotiate, negotiate, negotiating with someone who doesn't speak your language. Uh, negotiating with someone who does not speak your language has to be uh, what kind of a problem, kind of a solution would I give to Adnan? All languages are one. So once you even think about it, that okay, fine. There are deaf also, they're dumb also, and they're physically challenged people also who are being held by strangers in this world full of practical people. So they do not know a language by whom they can actually say or probably listen or probably ask for a favor, but still they are being helped with it. So this is probably one insight that I can help you with. And Arjun is the third question. How can we identify which is effective communication and which is ineffective communication? Uh, great question, Arjun. Arjun, uh, effective and ineffective communication has to be purely linked with whatever you say. Does it make sense? Or whatever response you get, does it make sense? If I'm probably talking to you here about communication and you ask me a question relating to your behavioral theories or Maslow need hierarchy theory that would be an ineffective communication as simple and as easy as that. So it's very important to understand that whatever topic that you're probably speaking or thinking or trying to explain, the topic is clear and it is precise. It's very important. That is the main, the main uh, differentiator, the main barrier between an effective communication platform and an ineffective communication platform. Uh, so, okay, what in, one more, what inspired you to explore communication as a field of all that exists? Okay, so this is more of an introspective question, Paridosh, thanks for it. 
communication is something why this purely because uh, not many of people who understand that okay fine communication is actually that important what does communication mean even when people go through quarrels they go through fights they're like okay fine sun liya to kya karu what should i do next i heard you but then it's very important that what i lay out here is you need to listen listen listening is cool you did listen you need to even understand it you need to absorb it grasp it comprehend it only when you comprehend it you can give me an answer on it if probably you're having a quarrel and you're talking about point a someone is talking about point c and you're like i am trying to make you explain something why you not able to understand because they're not making an enough of an effort to understand that that is the main reason by why they're not able to understand what you actually precisely mean to say so i hope paritosh this justifies what uh, how did i get inspired to explore communication so uh more more questions i would love them it more i have one more question like from uh, ayush chavla i don't know why it is not visible over here like how to read between the lines while communicating yeah this is ayush thank you thank you ma'am first of thank you ayush this is a question which relates to your body language theory when you talk about communication uh, this was one of the factors that i was about to touch upon and i'll touch with the base upon with this this communication does not just purely mean speaking and all of this it also means body language analysis if you guys have been uh, going through obviously amity has a course where which has hr in some other the ways plus you guys have behavioral science if i'm not wrong so understanding your body language is an art but it's not that tough an art that you cannot comprehend if you understand someone's behavior if you understand someone's action if you understand that okay fine someone is doing like this that means that okay fine they're probably thinking if you sit cross armed that means that you're just not in a mood to understand anything you pay attention just for the sake of it you are in no mood to hear anything out of people this is also a body language thing so it's very important that understanding small actions of people so if someone is cutting you short if someone says you're talking to someone on phone or face to face and they're like acha theek hai theek hai theek hai and then you're like okay fine okay bye because you understand you intercept the signal that okay fine they don't want to talk to you right now for any any reason so this i hope it moves with it and One question from paritosh he is asking yes. like could you cite a few personal examples through which you developed better listening skills like you would like to know how would you suggest we would do it the same way okay uh paritosh personal examples how i probably have a better listening skills has to be that first most important you might face it very very you might laugh out of it but yes paying a lot of attention to all the lectures which you have i when i used to study here in amity i am an ex i am an ex amity and i studied and i used to attend almost all of my lectures with full sincerity I did not used to be on the phone on or anything with my friends or acquaintances that solved a lot of problems out of me and helped me almost understand a lot of things this is one of a very small example which you can relate and you can implement it today right now you don't have to wait it for tomorrow as well but more you need listening skills probably if you go through the news every day if you see around 9 pm there are different news anchors on different channels on republic there's arnav and on times now there's navika kumari both of them have very different interviewing skills they have a very different debating skill arnav is an impatient listener he draws the inference in about 15 to 20 seconds whereas the different navika kumari she has a very long gestation period she waits for you to complete and then she would contradict you so these are two different styles probably none of them i can say with a full with a proof that okay fine one is black one is white no 
both of them have their own things which which they have inculcated and they've come up with it so that is perfectly fine but yes it's very important to stay calm and understand the main emotion or the or the main problem the main motive with what someone else is trying to say that's more that's most important okay. so okay. anshruta has a question like uh, she wants to know how can we increase or improve our negotiation skills so sure. negotiation skills uh anshuta i'll be thank you for your question first up it's very important that you need to be firm in saying your point if i am here and i'm probably helping you guys with this communication and i speak like hi everyone this is a lecture on communication and you're like okay fine this is so this is so flat i don't understand there's no interest there's no voice modulation there's no understanding there's no pain there's no effort that is something which is very important and once you understand that okay fine i need to say something and i so you might have uh, read that book learn how to say no or saying no in difficult situations things like these say no when you should not when others want you to say yes so that way so the world will obviously want you to work according to their their rules whatever set rules that they have but at the end of the day once you come up with questions and you counter them if you say probably hypothetically again if you probably in your family or in your friends family you've seen that there is a very different kind of a culture as compared to it as compared to your family they have a very strict culture the parents don't talk to their kids much and it's very professional that i'm back from college i'm going to sleep give me dinner that way that that does not work what works is a better free flow communication and that is how it can help you overcome it your parents will always help you overcome and help you grow with these things they'll help you to understand they'll help you to develop you might find all of you all of you might find a lot of instances in life that why do my parents always keep on bugging me off with this thought that do something for yourself what are you doing what is your aim in life what is your goal in life instead just for a minute don't think that they are bugging you off take these as your stepping stones of stones of success you find okay find like i my father tells me that what's next what's next means what is what whatever i thought i you might be doing it you might be selling exceptionally well in your college might be getting an extremely good impeccable academic record you might be having an amazing everything you might be a top gold medalist in your college but what's the life after college the life after college or even when you go in your work cultures i worked with ernst young for one and a half to two years and i just did not feel okay i felt i felt suffocated i did not feel that this is not what i actually intended to do in life and i did exit the firm and yes exiting the firm in the next 3 4 months the pandemic started and everything so none of your decisions always come back to you they have a certain degree a certain percentage with which they can backfire most important is to understand that and move ahead uh i have we have a lot of questions rishabh yeah. like uh, rishabh is asking that uh, you seem to have spent some time in this area so do you feel that social media has impacted the way this generation is communicating and if yes then is it positive or negative so it is related to social media and communication uh rishabh social media communication trust me on it today social media understands and this generation of yours understands a uh, in fact uh, i'll not just name the whole generation a broad generation of yours understands fluent sarcasm the generation does not understand the main point they do not want to understand that what is it that be, that's being said being sarcastic is okay sometimes but always it will bug off people and social media has impacted the the way the generation communicates and trust me it is a negative impact and saying this because 
a lot of comments that you find on news posts or on various articles on Facebook, probably not Instagram. They have to be mainly, mainly related with some sort of criticism. How many times do you actually think that people actually are very happy with your success? Really? Right now, you guys are in college, you guys might feel that, okay, fine, I have so many friends, I get thousands of likes, I get 900 comments, I'm so famous, I'm so popular, I'm an Instagram celebrity. But once you come out of your college and you're like, okay, fine, you start to work, people will totally start to cut off. And that's when you realize that, okay, fine, this is a negative impact. Paritosh has another question. Can you also touch upon how can we use effective communication and in interviews to our advantage? Please do help citing a few examples. Perfect, Paritosh. This is a beautiful question. Uh, effective communication and in interviews. Okay, so this is a personal example that I had. I appeared for my first interview in Honest and Young in my life. I never ever appeared for any interview before that, prior to that. And they asked from me that uh, you're already working in your own startup. Why do you want to do? Why do you want to work with us? Why do you want to be in a bonded sort of a stuff wherein you work for these many hours and you might have to even work longer and everything? So what you actually come, what I came up with was that I have started with something that I wanted to start that is off and it's running. But now I want to do something which brings in a sense of responsibility in me, which makes me understand the deeper problems and the meanings. So why? Why is just purely because that once you understand what is happening in a formal corporate organization, being sitting in an interview and saying that, okay, yes, this is my first interview and I know I might get selected. Yes. Why? Because you need to have self-belief. If I am there and I'm shivering and I'm like, no, no, how will I clear it? I, this is my first interview. Then obviously you're not going to get selected. You need to have self-belief, self-belief and confidence. These two things move hand in hand. Once you have these things in you and just be well-versed with what you are. Not well-versed with, okay, fine. What did, what did we study in our masters in the final semester or in the third semester in the last semester? They will actually not make much of a difference because each corporate firm, each organization has their own set of trainings on the job or off the job trainings, which they undergo through with, and they're going to help you with their own methods. So be vocal about what you are. When they say you that, okay, fine, uh, introduce yourself instead of starting blatantly like hi my name is xyz i have studied from this instead of being that that plain rather you can have an alternative approach and start with like hi uh, i have an interest for human resources during my undergraduation days during my graduation days but once i completed my graduation i found out that marketing is more interesting and I started with marketing. So now I have both of these specialties. So now what does the interviewer understand? They understand that, okay, fine. You are an MBA also and, a, uh, and you have good knowledge about the, about marketing and human resources, both of them. So this is a kind of a tricky way to explain yourself more effectively. Um, Mani Gupta, do you think your development of professional communication skills have impacted your communication relations with friends outside of work or family? Uh, yes, Manik. You will always, always, always in life find out, find out some people who are amazing critics. Like I, I still remember in my graduation days in Amity only, I had a classmate of mine, Nishant, who's, who always used to find some problem in what you are doing. And countering him was a challenge for many, but over a period of time, over a period of time, when you understand and understand and comprehend yourself, that then you will actually understand that, yes, this is very important. Once you actually understand, okay, fine, 
how can I actually ever win over him or probably even come equivalent to him? Because if you would say that the sky is blue today, he'll say, no, it's light blue. It's sky blue. It's dark blue. It's not blue. How do you plan to contradict it? You just cannot be very blatant in friendship and be like, no, I'm not mad. Obviously, you cannot. So then you have to be a bit of uh, practical and you need to twist it in such a way which is much more meaningful. I uh, think wait, wait. Uh, there is one question students are messaging me because probably I'm not, I cannot see over here, but how to overcome technical jargons? Sure. Gupta. Okay, I'll just take it. I'm writing it. I'll just take this right now. Yes. Uh, so with this also, uh, I just first uh, probably I'll take the I'll take that question later. I hope that's okay, Jashina. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, so I hope Manik, that solves it, that solves my your question. Even one more aspect that I have to this is that with your family, once you communicate, once you communicate with your father, who's probably the most honest feedback giver of yours in your life ever you will have. If you communicate with him, you sit and talk with him about different topics, you will understand that, yes, there are a lot of things that we never ever think about and we are overcoming them. This is actually very important. He will help you with understanding that why and how can you lead your life ahead? How and why you should move ahead in a strategized manner? I hope Manik, this solves your both the questions related with friends and family, both of them. And uh, next is Nishtha. Uh, I know many people who are introverts and cannot communicate properly. How can they over improve their communication skills and negotiations? Perfect. Nishta, overcoming something like this for introverts is important. I am myself an introvert. I used to be an introvert probably in my, in my graduation days. I was a proper introvert. But how can you overcome this is taking small baby steps for each day you have planned. Don't think that, okay, fine, tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I'll be like, I'll start talking and I'll not stop for seven hours. You cannot do that because you don't have that much of a confidence in you. You don't have that much of content with yourself that, yes, I can speak and I can speak. I can say whatever I want to and I can express whatever I feel. With introverts, the main thing is that they are overthinkers as well. They think a lot because they do not prefer to speak. Once they're not speaking, they're thinking everything, then that's an issue. So. Introverts purely, purely have to move in a slow, strategized manner. There is no winning formula that I tell you that do 10 minutes of this every day and you'll be like, okay, fine, amazing, an amazing extrovert by the end of this year. No, that cannot help you. But yes, talk to more people, talk to some selected friends with whom you don't have a fear of being judged. If you do not have a fear of being judged, with any of your friend, I think that's the best relationship you have with that friend. And you can talk to him or her about anything that you feel. So probably this can help you, Nishta. Uh, Priyanshi has, what is more important to be a good listener or a good communicator? Uh, Priyanshi, I'll move back, I'll dwindle back to my initial phrasing, what I started with. I did praise that communication has to include reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So again, I'll come to your question, being a good listener or a communicator, if you probably today, I am giving a presentation, you would be giving a presentation when the colleges start and you, you're there in front of the whole section and you're speaking and you don't find people who are listening. You'll be distracted and you'll look at a fan or a point in the wall and you'd be like, us. I can see this and I'll complete my presentation, my five minutes, eight minutes, 10 slides, 15 slides, done. 
mine is done but no that's not the main winning you need to take constructive criticism from everyone once you understand that yes people are helping you because they are giving you criticism there are a lot of people who do not say anything they like you ask from them honestly that oh how was i today how was the presentation okay and you'll be like okay fine why do you have to be so blunt always why can't you be a bit more pleasing similarly 10 days you go to another person they are also like okay and someone else you go to who's a very good constructive criticism person he'll tell you that, listen i know you presented you gave a really good presentation but these two points you could have paid more attention here you would have been phenomenal now it's on you that what do you want to bring to your life from this either if you are low on self confidence you will get this that you give a good presentation and you will be gaga gaga about it or if you really want to excel you would be like i'll take those two criticisms and i'll work on them and i'll give a be- better presentation next time you wish for it that way it's much more important uh now next question arjun how can we overcome the barrier of trust in lack of trust in communication so you are uh, probably mixing up two things you in, in fact integrating two things lack of trust and communication trust is something which is very subjective it's more of a perception based you might think that you trust a lot your friend but one bad instance and they are like one distrust one one instance and you're like okay fine i don't want to see your face ever again you are such a liar and all of that but everyone does deserve one chance i hope so arjun so lack of trust is something which is very normal just don't be complacent ever that yes i have this one person who's never ever going to go out of my life no matter what happens that's an illusionary world that you are living in probably and that only one or two people can be your family members or your parents first of your parents are those people who are always there by beside you even when you move out to work or you change your city so they would always be the same so always be with this logic that yes trust is always there and then only you can communicate if i am i like personally giving an example i am a life coach people share their problems with me some might share their problem with me i there has to be a personal touch there has to be a sense of trust only then they will share it with me otherwise why would they share it so you understand trust is very important in every communication field uh i hope this helps arjun gorav is there a way we can measure or assess effective communication measuring on or assessing effective communication is probably understanding that okay fine if i am talking and i am probably giving you a lecture upon this communication and everything and you come to me and you are asking a question and i am like okay i can't take this question right now probably we'll take it in the next se- next session or i can own up that okay fine i don't understand i am not well versed with this and give me some time i'll get back to you on this for sure so these are two ways to approach a problem situation but it's very important that effective communication has to be purely sense of your mind if you logically think that okay fine yes there's someone who's making sense there's someone who's listening to you who's trying to make you explain some point even if they are your parents even if they are these teachers amazing teachers trust me on it then only you can understand and that is the main barometer to understand what is effective communication uh before manik's question i will take the question which came from jeshree ma'am from some student to jeshree ma'am uh so what is overcoming technical jargons technical jargons it's very important that you do not use strange abbreviation will be like you send an email just think about it you in a corporate world and you send an email omg i never i, I and comma idk and 
what you're going to receive in back is a huge escalation that what is what kind of a business formal communication is this wherein you're using short forms with relating to your personal life this is something which is very important that you need to pay attention to and please do not under, do not ever ever act like you are the mr know it all or miss know it all you need to take effective and important points from every everything that you do and everyone that people say you this question of yours is opening another portrait of mine that i understand that it's very important that it's where you never ever stop learning you don't ever get complacent in life just think about it once post your bba post your mba is it anything else that you guys have thought about is there anything that you guys plan to do this is just a food for thought think about it once i hope this solves this question and i have another question of from manik can you offer some tips about how to respectfully criticize someone with a higher authority without offending them when you know that they are wrong or do you think it's better not to say anything at all so manik this is a problem that you face you are going to face at a lot of situations in life even if it is a promotional even if it is a workplace promotion uh, a performance appraisal meeting or even if it is relating with your parents even if it is relating with your elder brother elder elder sister if you do not have that open a communication you need to be very sober and you need to be you you need to be kind of a tricky there you think you don't actually have to be very blunt that some senior in your organization is telling you that this is not how work is done see see this is how work is done and the paper that he is showing is actually no work so then you cannot just say that what is this this is no work you cannot say that you will be like okay i'll take care in future but now once you exit that room and once you come out of that mind frame you you try to get some insight in your brain and you're like i understand that this person has some technique has some bias regarding me he is always offending or or, or probably apprehensive with me he's an opposite with me why so it's very important once you understand this basic logic that okay fine yes it's not very important that i actually have to understand to people and take everything to my heart you need to give people space that okay fine speak what you want to you don't have to be affected with everything there's so many people who keep on saying you things and things you don't just have to be like okay fine i'm that way i'm that way no don't ever ever doubt your self worth your self worth is created by what you are and what knowledge you possess i hope manik this helps you uh i have a question from mohammad shakir how do i overcome the fear of interacting people and talking to them uh, so mohammad shakir what you're saying is purely low self confidence and you can up the ante by only re- reaffirming and repossessing yourself with the logical bits that you have if i know it feels terrible when you want when you know an answer you are in a classroom you know an answer and you cannot put your hand up because you too afraid afraid to speak i've been through that and trust me on it the first time it's going to be very hard second time it's going to be easier and by the time actually you reach your fifth time it's going to be fluent even if you're saying wrong don't think that okay fine these friends that you have these people that you have the acquaintances that you have they're just going to laugh off and they're going to be okay fine just be just think it that way that okay i i was there i was someone's reason to laugh today you can take it optimistically as well and you can understand that okay fine i can do much better so it's very important mohammed shakir that you understand that you can do better communication help will always help you will always always help you
and do we get more questions from everyone this has been really nice till now yeah i i think all the questions have been answered but i can't see the questions of question answer session i think uh, uh, divya ma'am or uh, samuni ma'am if you people can see I am also not able to see it here, but uh, let me just check because, because I was just looking at. Because students are posting that they have posted the questions in the answer session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am posting. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of questions that yes. I am able to see it here. Uh, like uh, one is how to yes. read between the lines while communicating. Uh, yes. That has been answered. Yes. Remember, I got them. Okay, fine. I got the two in it. I think there are two questions you have already answered. Mentioned in Q and A section. Yes, yes. I just, I just uh, quickly go through them. Moment, Shakir, I did answer your question. Overcoming the fear of interacting with people and talking to them. Ayush, I answered a similar question. Reading between the lines while communicating, I linked it with body language. Uh, and more communication. Good evening, first up. Communication is about sharing all the matter and asking any doubts on the communicable topic. Uh, no, Emir. Communication also means that how to understand and comprehend, understanding, comprehending, and then giving your point of view is most important in communication, in my opinion, purely. So it's very important that once you have communication, it does not does does not mean that okay, fine. Two people talking, two people talking, understanding, comprehending, trying to absorb, and then speak. Most important. Uh, I hope this solves hammer. Let me know if you have any further questions. Prithvi Raj, sorry, Parthiv Raj. Apologies. The digital age has brought many ways to new ways to communicate, such as email, Twitter, and Facebook. How has communication changed? Which is which one is more helpful? Uh, but if, trust me, in my opinion, Twitter is a is an amazing handle to be on in social media. It helps you to be more precise. It helps you to be more to the point and speak in a much much more better way. Facebook is more of a open book. Trust me, you can say whatever you want to. You can write paragraphs. It will never say you to stop. Twitter has that 160 uh, letter limit, I guess. That will actually help you to be more precise when you talk in your business communication emails as well. So in social media, Twitter has to be the most important, and in business communication, email is the only most important communicating method because you would want to document everything that you want to say. Also, remember documenting and writing. Giving communication through writing is very important when you want to communicate with people. I hope this solves your question, Bhatik. Let me know if it doesn't. Amar, another question. Uh, I also have a question. What if someone is listening to you, understanding you, but not, but still, most often ignore you because of some personal issue that work is. So Amar, just be just be more considerate. Probably be more uh, em empathize with them. They might have some issues. Everyone has has their own uh, stuff of problems to deal with. Everyone has their own. In your young language, everyone has their own shit to deal with. But yes, you need to understand that yes, giving people space and then waiting for them to come back to you is going to be very relaxing. Don't have your palpitations too high. Don't think about it too much. Don't get so nervous that oh, I asked I asked her a question or I asked him a question and they never replied. It's been two weeks, two days, two weeks, two months. Do they, do they really don't want to talk to me? If they don't really want to talk to you, let it be. Don't don't play people. I hope this helps, Emma. Uh, Anushrata, good evening. I know. I wanted to know. I think I did over. I did uh, mention this question. Anushka, Nikhil, how to communicate more effectively and motivate others? Any tips you could pass? Communicate more effectively and motivate others. Motivation is all. See, I can help you, or you can help people 
getting motivated extrinsically intrinsic motivation has to come from within if you want to do something and you have your goal set you have your eyes set on the prize then this trust me nothing that can stop you but still motivating people and helping people communicating effectively has to be purely talking to them in their language if you want to motivate someone understand the set of problems that they have understand the set of issues that they might be possessing right now and then make an effort to mold your knowledge in a way that you can present it as per their requirement if i can give you a piece of paper which has no lines on it but you need lines but you do not have a scale to draw lines it is going to be useless if you don't have a pen right so it's very important that you understand and assess the needs and move ahead uh, i hope this helps nikhil let me know if it doesn't mohammed shakir i did take this question to the i took your question arjun i think i took a similar question where in overcoming the barrier of lack of trust between the sender and receiver arjun trust you can never ever be affirmative on trust keeps on moving high or low up or down don't worry about it but yes it's very important to communicate well and trust will also get built through communication if you do not communicate trust level would not rise uh, i have deepu biswas how can we communicate with a person who doesn't want to listen uh, this is this is a nice question deepu just don't uh, communicate with them then give them enough space give them their privacy their space that they need and everything that you want to say to them rather just go to your phone and write it in the notes section so you'll always keep it in your mind and you'll not have it in your chest you'll have it in your subconscious mind and you should be good with it sanskriti has a question i hope deepu that solves it sanskriti has a question does positive criticism affect a bit effect or effect should be effect i guess effect effective communication uh sensitivity positive criticism is upon the receiver if i am here if you if i am here i am presenting to you if someone positively criticizes me i have two ways to take it either i can be offensive or i can be understanding offensive is that i do not understand why why are you even saying that to me i will have i already have a lot of takeaways from for myself after this session which i need to work upon but yes obviously i'm not uh, going to be vocal about them in such a way that i have been about these points i understand them and i need to work on them for myself not for anyone else so criticisms and constructive or constructive or negative does not matter criticisms have to be dealt in a very calm state of mind only then you can understand what kind of a criticism level it is i hope so so this is helps uh, i think amish we can take one more question and then uh, they want to communicate with you they can mail you or which are the mail id sure okay uh, ma'am there is one uh, question which is being uh, you know messaged by one of the student to me yes so uh, he just wanted to know about certain tips if you can share in order to make negotiation more effective so that it doesn't impact the interpersonal relationships you know because uh, at the time of negotiation we do have to compromise many a times so uh, there is an impact of negotiation on interpersonal relations too so can you share some of the tips uh, so as to make it more effectively that it doesn't impact uh, the interpersonal relationships in a negative way uh most okay thank you thank you for the question from saloni but from the student so most important tips for making negotiations effective and being that much vocal about it has to be you need to prepare well if you are prepared well for negotiation then you can actually actually be in a different state of mind next is that you need to be very alert if you do not if you just be quiet or if you pay lesser attention then you are being taken for granted in today's world 
so please do not let that happen you need to understand and you need to be alert that okay fine if you just understand one thing that it's most important that once you know the art of saying no then every other art comes to you automatically because at tough situations if you can say no you know how to retreat from a problematic situation and you know what corrective steps you can take inside you to not arrive in a similar situation in future also one of the most important is in in all communication methods even for negotiation has to be confidence you need to be confident in yourself that yes whatever that i'm saying whatever that i'm vouching for whatever that i'm trying to explain is perfectly fine and it makes super sense that makes a lot a lot of logic that's important and one of the most uh, backward or probably back between inside you should be that you need to prepare with the paperwork in a very effective manner if you have gone through all the terms and conditions or probably the things that you want to be vocal about you want to talk to them about it's very important that you understand all of them in a very strategized manner and then you go only this is something different than preparation preparation can be a 5 minute extempore preparation but understanding the intricacies like someone mentioned the question of reading between the lines so understanding the intricacies between the points has to be purely through deep understanding of the main uh, paperwork that you have i hope this solves the question saloni and the student thank you amish dr saloni bahuja we we i i didn't uh, introduce you to saloni ma'am oh. uh, okay so we have saloni ma'am we have swati ma'am also who is taking this subject along with divya ma'am okay uh, amish uh, uh divya ma'am can we end with the session uh, i think yes uh, if amish has to give some um, you know the last few tips on um, how these students can become more effective in uh, negotiating because at times they do these negotiation skills with us also so uh, how how they can become more effective uh, as a uh, you know uh, as a management professional where they can become more effective so, so last few tips if you can give on negotiation sure 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 so it's so really important that once you are negotiating with people once you are anywhere in any situation look for immediate rewards do not give anyone the liberty to speak at length for probably 2 minutes give immediate rewards and then you can be you are just cutting short the conversation and moving towards a towards the main goal that you want and in management trust me there are going to be numerous number of issues that you want to speak about but you do not but you cannot speak about what i am probably saying you might think that this is probably not logical aajkal aisa kuch nahi hota things have changed there are new policies in place and there are so many apps in place nothing happens to us we have irll also we have so many things in place but at the end of the day trust me being very vocal and negotiating with a calm mind is is going to work for you take time take time to comprehend for yourself but be very comprehensive and be to the point exact so this is uh, it that from my side i am sharing my email id on the chat box anyone who has any questions uh, can post me on the email id i have one question already from manav yeah so i'll take this question the last one from manav that is interesting uh, how to act and communicate in, in time when a person is in distress and needs condolences uh, so when someone is in distress and needs condolences then see first up depends at what tuning do you have with the person if he is your friend you know how to pacify friends you know how to make people all have results 
some people have some bats and some clear all the subjects so you know how to bond over with friends but once you talk about condolences and all of this then share some insights of life with them with which they can relate and share insights with which they can overcome so these insights that they would understand it will give them a lot of strength and most important is that reaffirm that even she understand even you will not be with someone for always but you can always give them a reaffirmation that yes be here i am here i will help you go through whatever issues that you are facing right now the most generalized term that everyone talks about is that this is just a phase it will pass off but trust me on it as as these phases pass on in life new tougher phases come because god has made you that much strength has given that much of strength to you and has made you that much strong that you can fight off all of them so it's very important that you need to be empathizing not sympathize don't sympathize with them empathize with them i hope this solves it manav thank you so much everyone thank you so much to swati ma'am sononi ma'am divya ma'am and jeshree ma'am and amiti as well for thank you amish for sharing your insights about this topic and uh, you know actually letting our students know uh, about these concepts yes and and you know um, it was a very interesting session so yeah uh should students should also get motivated session and uh, it was really enlightening the way you shared your experience and uh, uh, so simply you you know explained the concept to a student it was really very interesting and uh, you know uh, you kept on uh, our interest in the session and you know every single tip that you gave is so applicable that i'm sure all of our students will we use them and will be benefited with this thank you so much thank you so much ma'am so this is uh, i would also like to give a photo well on behalf of amity school of business i would like to propose this hearty vote of thanks to our esteemed speaker of the day that is sister amish dingrar director coco wave co working for sharing his valuable time and imparting the knowledge of how proper communication negotiation is a very you know contributing factor in the organizational behavior field amish it was indeed you know an a very insightful and knowledgeable session and specifically uh, i really appreciate the way you answered all their queries so all their queries were answered with uh, such good examples uh and yes i would like to thank uh, you know i would like to acknowledge uh, our gratitude uh, to the honorable founder president sir chancellor sir vice chancellor ma'am director sir for their continuous encouragement and motivation to conduct uh, such sessions such guest lectures where our students can have you know a lot of uh, learning sessions and uh, thank you i must mention my deep sense of appreciation to the faculties of organizational behavior uh, dr swati mittal dr saloni pahuja and dr divya kuvel also last but not the least uh, my heartfelt thanks to uh, our dear students for your active participation and the way you put up so many questions was uh, very good i mean it is uh, worth mentioning um, with these warm uh, words i would like to you know end the session and uh, thank you all uh, for joining us today thank you very much thank you amesh thank you thank you amesh thank you thank you ma'am now can i close the session yes yes thank we you we would like to have the attendance list mail to dr jayeshwari